Hi, I'm James from Wilkinson Cameras, and this is the brand new Fujifilm X-Pro3. Fuji fans have been waiting for nearly three years for an update to the much-loved X-Pro2. Well, that day has finally arrived. With an updated sensor, a redesigned viewfinder, and of course that controversial LCD screen, the X-Pro3 certainly sounds like an improvement. Fujifilm say that after spending time with some Japanese street photographers, they worked out what was wanted from a proper street camera. Durability, enhanced speed and usability. All these points seem to have been answered on paper. But with three different finishes to choose from, standard black, dura black and dura silver. Dura being Fujifilm's fancy new coating that's apparently 10 times harder than steel, making the Dura models extremely scratch resistant. This coating however will come at a premium price of around £180 extra. All models however will feature a titanium construction. This won't make the camera lighter though, with the camera still weighing the same 445 grams as the X-Pro2. With that being said, it remains a great camera for travel, street photography and everyday take anywhere shooting. Picking up the camera for the first time, you'll notice it looks and feels pretty similar to its predecessor, the X-Pro2. It's got the same grip, the same viewfinder switch and the same focus selector dial. But as you probably already know, the biggest change to this camera is around the back. Fujifilm call it the hidden LCD. And in their words, it is to encourage photographers to think about composition more rather than just pointing and clicking. That's fair enough. On one side it features a small screen which displays camera settings such as aperture, shutter speed and ISO, similar to a professional DSLR top screen. This screen can also display a digital preview of the film simulation in use, a clear nod to 35mm film packaging. The other side houses a conventional 3 inch touchscreen for composing and playback which only tilts downwards. While restrictive, the idea is that less time will be spent looking down at the monitor or chimping as it's otherwise known. Inside you'll find Fujifilm's newest 4th generation 26 megapixel X-Trans sensor, the same one found in Fuji's X-T3 and X-T30. Images are very sharp with great contrast and of course you still get those incredible colours that Fujifilm are known for. Autofocus still utilises face detection AF points for fast and accurate autofocus. Combined with a reduced shutter lag, this camera feels very responsive. Fujifilm also claim that the camera now focuses down to minus 6 EV, which is near darkness. While impressive, this camera still doesn't quite match the autofocus speed and tracking accuracy of the X-T3, but that's a camera designed for sport shooting. With that said, however, the X-Pro3 is capable of up to 11 frames per second in mechanical shutter and 20 frames per second in the electronic shutter, so it's got plenty of burst shooting power. The camera still uses Fujifilm's amazing hybrid viewfinder, which allows you to quickly switch between the optical and electronic modes. The optical viewfinder now features a larger angle of view, redesigned optics and less distortion for a clearer view. While the electronic viewfinder is now an OLED screen with more resolution, improved contrast and a wider colour space for better colour accuracy. Fujifilm have also addressed the diopter issue found on the X-Pro2. The previous diopter could easily be knocked and changed by accident. The X-Pro 3's diopter is now housed within the body. Video wise, yes, the X-Pro 3 does it, just. The X-Pro 3 records up to 4K 30p, but usability becomes an issue when you switch to that video mode. That hidden LCD makes it difficult to view what you're actually recording, even on a tripod, and so it's far from ideal. There's no HDMI for an external monitor, and it doesn't have a headphone jack for monitoring audio either. Other new features include advanced colour customizability. Classic Neg is a newest addition to Fujifilm's great film simulations. Close to the colours of Superior, it gives you enhanced tonality with lower saturation. Monochromatic colour filter can now also be applied to your black and white images. You can adjust the colour cast to appear warmer, cooler, magenta or green. Plus, the grain effect can now be controlled by its roughness and size to give even more stylized images. I think we can all agree that this camera isn't for everyone. It's like a S-Classic look so easy to fall for, and while it still might not be as spec heavy as some of its counterparts, I still want to pick this camera up and shoot with it. No, it doesn't have IBIS, and no, it might not be the best tool for video, but what the X-Pro3 does do is instills creativity. It's inspiring and a real joy to shoot with. 
and a salute Fujifilm for making such a camera.